Hey guys, it's Bruno Pozo here, back at you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be a special one. As we wrap up 2022, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about how our business is doing and what to look forward to in 2023. For those of you who don't know, I actually run a video marketing agency with my friend, Mateo Elvira, and we've been doing this since January of 2021. So it's about to be two years starting in 2023. And all in all, I'm really proud of the progress that we've made over these last two years. Because when we started, we didn't have any cameras, we didn't have any fancy lighting or microphones. In fact, we actually just started with just our smartphones. And over the course of the last two years, we pretty much invested most of the money that we made from the business into just gathering new gear and improving our skills as filmmakers. I'm proud to say that I'm really happy where we are right now. However, I think there's a lot of room for growth. So without further ado, let's talk about how much money I made this year as a videographer in 2022. So I'm going to break this video up into different segments based on the source of income, because as a content creator, we don't just make income from our job. We also have other side projects and ways that we make money. And we'll get to that shortly. So number one, how much did I make as a freelance videographer? This pretty much just means all the contracted work that we've been paid to do. So whether it be a promotional video for a business, social media, marketing, corporate events, weddings, as a matter of fact, and some esports events as well. On average, I've been paid around 300 to 500 on each project. And typically that's about a half day of worth of shooting and then a day or two of editing with revisions included. Anyways, in total, just from the freelance work that I've done with Mateo, I've made $16,876. If we divide that by 12 to get the monthly income, that's around $1,400 every month coming from our business. I know this is not a lot, and especially when I live in LA, which has one of the highest cost of livings in the world, it's really not a lot, but I do uh, room with my family and I do have a very lo low cost of living based on my personal expenses, so I can get away with it. My main expenses are rent, food, and car payments, but that's not all because I have done some side projects which we'll get to right now. So the second source of income is actually direct payments from projects that I've gotten that have been outside of Elvira Media. One of those actually includes a Blink-182 promo video, a few esports events for my friends at Top Shelf Esports, and some Fiverr gigs that ended up translating to off-the-site deals as well. In total, from these side projects, I made about $3,200. And this pretty much totals about maybe four projects. So one of those was actually pretty much the bulk of it, which was about $2,000, which was probably the easiest project I ever worked on. It was just half a day shoot. I worked on the edit over the weekend and I just really focused on it, came up with some ideas and they were really happy with the first deliverable that I sent them. So I got paid immediately right after that. The other two were essentially esports events. And like I said, one was a Fiverr off site deal. And those were roughly about $300, $500 a day. Onto the third source of income that I have as a freelance videographer, and that's actually gigs from Fiverr. So I actually hadn't posted our gigs on Fiverr up until just about September of this year. So all this money that I made is actually just including the last four months. And I'm happy to report that there's a lot of decent projects out there on Fiverr if you list your services on there. It's amazing because when I first signed up for Fiverr, I noticed that when I typed in videographer Los Angeles, only two other listings came up and one of them was Mateo. So I realized that we had a decent chance at landing jobs because there weren't as many videographers who were doing it in LA that posted their work on Fiverr. So I've only done about six gigs on Fiverr. Uh, two of those were drone videos, which were about $60 a piece. And the other three were half day shoots, just uh, raw footage, no editing done in post. And each of those were roughly around two to 300. The only downside with Fiverr is that they do take 20%. So it is something to consider when you're doing your pricing perhaps, but in total off of Fiverr directly, I made about $816. All right, and last but not least, renting out my gear and stock footage. So I use a website called ShareGrid where you post your listings for your equipment. It can be anything from microphones, cameras, lenses, tripods, lights, you name it. You can put, put it on there and essentially you open yourself up to your region where people can rent directly from you and then you get paid on based on how many days they rent that product for. 
once again, I actually was really late in this year when I did ShareGrid. I actually posted, I believe also around September when I did the Fiverr gigs. So this only allowed me to get about two rentals, which were actually pretty recent. I think it was just in the month of November, both of those rentals happened. One was for finding my 5D Mark IV kit with a few lenses and the microphone. And the other was actually for the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone and the kit that it comes with. So in total off of ShareGrid, I actually made $135.15. Now onto stock footage. I use a service called Wirestock, which allows you to upload photos and videos, and they'll help distribute it to all the major stock footage platforms. So you don't have to do it individually, each one by one. Granted, I was really lazy with this, and this is something I really wanna focus on in 2023. So I only have about 25 clips uploaded on there. And up until now, I've made exactly $0 off of those clips. But at the end of the day, I think it could be worth it, especially for the possibility of passive income. All right, so there you have it. I don't make money from my other social medias except for TikTok. But I think last time I checked, I was making like 10 cents a day. I guess I should add that up, but we'll consider that pretty much zero for now. So for the grand total of how much I made as a full-time content creator, in 2022 is $21,026. And I know that's not a lot, but I'm actually kind of impressed because our first year I made around 15,000 and now we're up about 7,000 this year. And when I was working as a full-time server at a sushi restaurant, I made around $19,000 with tips. So the fact that I'm up about $3,000 doing something I love and I'm not working these crazy hours, although sometimes it is with videography work, let's be real. I'm just grateful that I can actually do something that I love and make money doing it and live sustainably off of it. But there's a lot of room for growth, so I'm actually really excited for 2023 because I'm gonna start tackling the sales side and marketing side of video production for our agency. Because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all of the business that we've gotten is pretty much because of Mateo's efforts. You see, Mateo is basically the business development side of the company. He's really good at networking, reaching out, making connections, and getting these jobs for us. And I'm more of the creative on-hand uh, skills person when it comes to the camera, lighting, microphones, etc. So we make a good pairing, but I do feel bad because like I said, I want to help bring in business as well. That's actually one of the reasons why I started the listing on Fiverr because I was like, maybe that's a good way to get some leads. And that ended up being that way because we have a few leads and actually some upcoming projects next year because of Fiverr. But I know I can be doing more and so that's exactly what I plan to do starting 2023. So this is a huge shout out to Mateo. Thank you so much for doing all that back end work and allowing us, me, to also make money doing this beautiful craft that we call content creation. But now, what am I planning to do for 2023? Number one, more outreach. I've seen how Mateo does his client outreach. It's actually pretty straightforward. We find job listings for videographers or social media content creators on Indeed, LinkedIn, and other job listing platforms like that. And then what he likes to do is look up the company, find them on LinkedIn, find out who's the person that's gonna be making this decision, typically uh, one of the marketers or recruiters. And he sends them a video message actually telling him that he's offering his services, that he heard about the position and would like to hop on a call to discuss further details. And surprisingly, this works really well. So I'm gonna take a note from Mateo and I'm gonna start doing that myself. I already started by scouring LinkedIn, but I've also noticed there's a lot of listings on Craigslist. Some of them already passed and some of them are dated, but I'm pretty sure if I continually check weekly every few days or so, I'll find some job listings and some leads that way as well. The other thing I was thinking and I was telling Mateo this is that we need to actually start asking for referrals from our previous clients. Obviously, it's a lot easier to sell your services when someone else is speaking about you instead of yourself. So if we have someone who speaks well on our behalf, it's a lot easier to close that deal. And oftentimes there's not really a closing need to be done. It just has to be whether we actually provide the solution that they need. I've already started doing this by actually messaging people on Fiverr that we've worked with. So far only one has answered, but that's still better than nothing. And it's the good start and a good sign of what's to come in 2023. So what can you take away from this video? One, it's not easy being a content creator, but if you stick with it, you will find some degree of success. Two, if you're not really good at the sales and marketing side of things, maybe find a partner or someone who is willing to work with you. And last but not least, don't be afraid of these other services that can help you 
bring in deals and bring in passive income. So ShareGrid was something that I didn't start till late, but it made me a few hundred dollars, which I would not have had, which I'm gonna use for Christmas gifts. Fiverr, although it takes a big chunk of the revenue, has also led to deals offline and also allows me to get some leads that I wouldn't have otherwise, so I'm still grateful for that. And lastly, stock footage, although I'm not making money off of it yet, I know that if I continue to upload content onto there, there will be a time where I'll start making some passive income and that'll be nice to help support the active work I'm doing on these projects. So there you have it. That's how much money I made this year as a full-time content creator in 2022. I'm curious, how was your year? I'm pretty sure people are doing way better than me. So if you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe for more filmmaking tips and tutorials just like this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.